Welcome to Classic Car Cave. So I hope you all had a great Christmas um, and the New Year's coming up. I think it's, what is it now, the uh, 30th, uh, 29th or 30th, uh, 30th. So I hope you have a great New Year and let's hope 2023 brings a good year and uh, a bit of an end to what's going on in the Ukraine uh, and, and lots of other things, um, bills and so on and so forth. I'm very, very lucky man, and uh, the only issue I've got is my gas people, who I've got the wrong gas from, which I explained before. I've got the TIG gas instead of the MIG. Don't, doesn't open till the 9th of January, and Amir comes back the next day, but I'll do what I can. But like I said, have a great new year, and let's hope 2023 is a bit more peaceful for the world uh, than 2022 was. Take care, look after yourself. Bye for now. So before Amir goes uh, tonight for his time off for Christmas, we've bead rolled both sides, both bottoms now. You can see the magnets are just holding it on at the moment. So I'll make the frame first. You can see how nice that's going to look against. Let me go past the post. See how nice that's going to look. And once the wheel arch is in, uh, I made a new piece for the back here. And the, the smaller one, the, the one that's not got the length, the width on it, we're going to use underneath here, um, and you can see these are the two panels we made for the other side. We need to doctor them up a little bit. There's a few bits like here where we've had to double over it. Um, but we can doctor them up. You can see here, and we can make them better with lead or, or, or a hammer and dolly. So that's good. Got it all done before he goes. Um, yeah, but I think that looks real nice, that. Uh, these, this is the headlights that came with it. You can see they're in fairly poor condition. They could be beaten out and re-craned if we wanted to. This one is particularly dented, is it? Yeah, it's a very bad crease in that one. This one's got a few bits in it as well. But um, there's a tractor place where Amir lives, and we can get a brand new set with the glass bulbs, everything in it. Um, these are the bits that go onto the wing that would have gone through the bolt all cleaned up now. They're going to go like that. Um, yeah. So, <coughs> Mia's uh, cut the, the door for the driver's side. It's a left-hand drive vehicle, obviously. Um, and what he's done is put Bronox on it first, which is a... I don't know if, if they have it in the UK. Is it? This one. Now this is this is the stuff here. It's called Brunox. Um, rust stop, auto stop. But it's really we've used it a lot on just about every, almost about every car uh, we've restored. I've used it, and it's really good. What it does, it turns any micro rust like a purple colour, but it encapsulates it. It's really good shape. If you can find something that's the equivalent to that, it's a German outfit, I think. Brunox, really, really good stuff. And there's the skin, it's made the door skin. So what we're going to do, what we're going to change on it is um, we're going to leave the two corners the same, but on the back we're going to go square and square. Uh, it's a lot easier to make it because you only need so many cuts to get it over the bend, but it looks nice as well because it looks more symmetrical. Um, yeah, and, and uh, Piper Doug, who's been a long time, a friend who lives in the prairies in Canada. He was mentioned about the work that goes into this, but by the same token, this was only tacked on to give a line to where it was going to be. So, you know, by taking all this out, um, it's not a big deal, and we end up with one complete skin. This is the roof that uh, Mia's making, and Revka, she's the other machinist, the metal worker. We can actually, we don't need to actually do it that way. We can, on these machines, you can turn the top wheel and the dolly 90 degrees, but we're going to try it first, because look, you can see the roundness in it now. I think that's more. That Should we give it a shot? Yeah. There's the door skin on the start of the door skin. Uh, it's just been popped on to get it lined up. And you can see we're going to make it square. See, now you can see that the line's good there. And then it's open, so what we do is we lead load this now, because this is straight. And we lead load this back corner. 
That's why you can't put filler in these things because they just crack. Lead will be there long after the metal's gone. It's lovely and very nice shape to it because it's got a, it's, it's, it's got a few uh, compound curves in it as well. It doesn't look like it has, but it does. You can see it runs in there and then it bows slightly here. So once that, we'll just match this line to this line when the lead comes from the UK. Yeah. And we've got the, we've done the roof, we've uh, English wheeled the roof. It's got a little crown in it now, which is what we want, because we've done when it's sagging. A flat piece of metal is just flat, whereas if it's got a bit of a crown in it, it'll tighten up when we weld it in. But uh, let's wait till the MIG gas comes after New Year. So it's getting better, um, still not great, but it's getting a little bit better. Starting and finishing seems to be the issue. I'm sure that will come with practice, but I'm getting better at it. I suppose practice, practice, practice is the way to go. These are going to be the, the metal for the inner part of the arch, which I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so I made up this uh, back panel. Um, I basically just used a straight bar, but put it into a, on a corner, so it's got plenty of surface area on it, as you can see there. So I've uh, primed it all on the edges. What I'll do now is I'll make some uh, uprights away from these bolts um, so they don't clash with them and it will just stop this from moving. I think possibly I can just put the ones on the outside um, and then match them up with them. I don't know, I don't know if that's going to be too much surface area. Maybe not. The problem is if I, if I tack weld this on just now um, I won't be able to get to the back of them and weld them, so maybe I should just put them in as a matter of a matter of course. You know, uh, I'd put an upright through the centre there, and possibly one. How would it be? And one there, and then come down, do a rolled edge, and come along here. Um, and what I'll do is I'll I'll, uh, I'll have a look at it now and see what I come up with. So that's the frame made. Uh, I haven't welded it in here yet, but I've welded, made that corner for it and it still fits. That's the main thing. Um, now I've got to weld it to the piece in the center of the arch. I've had to come down here because there's a bolt right underneath here. Uh, and I had to get it right up against the side here. Plus there's that bit for the step as well. Uh, but it's sitting right up against that chassis there. I might even have to knock it in just a very slight bit of metal or so. Put the space up the top there. So now I know it fits, I can put it together on the main part and, uh, and then tack it onto the sheet steel. It's quite late, so I'm going to call that a night. So I've primed the back of it. This is not the way it's going to sit, it's going to sit completely flipped over the other way. But I wanted to paint the, the back side of it before I weld it on. Uh, but before I do that tomorrow, I've got to weld in this corner piece and on the side. Um, and then it'll, when it's flipped over, this piece will go into that slot there. And these pieces go into that slot and onto that slot there. I you can see it. So I'll butt weld them all up. So that frame plus this arch bit outside will be one piece. Um, so theoretically, you could take the arch on and off, which is what I want to be able to do. Um, because I have to cut it down a little bit. It's too long here and certainly too long here. So I'll have to work out where it's level to the um, um, to, the, to the running board, get it level to the running board, then chop it, then try and work this uh, piece into it uh, to make it look uh, as though it was made for the car. But that's where we are at the moment, but I'm going to call it a night because it's quite late. The door opens automatic. Okay. Good. So yeah, so that's how it looks along along the bottom. And that arch now is in line with that one. It's enough flare on it, but we could put the other one on. 
But, uh, yeah, so pretty pleased with that. We could come up about another centimetre up on that arch, uh, and we've elongated, I've elongated the hole, so we should be able to move it up a little bit if we need to. But, uh, and I just use cell tappers at the moment to put that on. What I'm thinking is, is I might do that. I'll put another two in here, two cell tappers in here, because then when I want to take the side off, uh, when we want to bolt it on, we could actually bolt it on first and then put the, the side pieces on. Okay. So you can just see that bolt is catching on the end there. Uh, so, and I've got to weld this piece up, this round piece. And then there's a two centimetre bar to go in here to come down across the back. But uh, the wheel light seems to be good. Seems to work quite well. So I think we're, I think we're in there pretty nice. Let me just turn this off. So yeah. So that's what it looks like. Which I think is uh, quite nice. I just need to cut those bits now for the hinges and drop it down so you don't see that gap there. <laughs> 